Well, Jim, apparently Becky also had some comments and went back and forth a little bit with Ric Flair. I'm not exactly sure where this came from. Uh, I have an article here from the New York Post. The latest saga with Ric Flair and Becky Lynch came earlier this week. Lynch gave a strong promo implying Charlotte Flair had ripped off her father's gimmick. In response, the elder Flair, (laughs) which is a funny way to put it, who, uh, by the way, Jim, has a really troubling thing where he puts the first letter of every word in caps in capitals on Twitter. And I'm, I'm, do you have to do that on purpose or is it just a setting that, that he's not uh, aware of? It's not a setting I'm aware of. So I think you have to do it on purpose. Cause I don't, cause you know, I don't text at all. So he's still ahead of me. Uh, all props to the Nate for doing the texting thing, but I would think that would be more difficult. Well, apparently Ric Flair or someone representing Ric Flair using his account tweeted out, I think I'm going to have to make the trip personally to see you beat the piss out of Miss Charlotte. I don't think so, sister. (laughs) I don't think so, sister. The man, big time Bex, or whatever you call yourself. There's not enough choreography in the business to save you, Becky Lynch. Woo! Now, again, whatever is going on with her and Charlotte, we don't know if Rick is just going off freestyle here. (laughs) Or if anyone's actually asked him to participate. But Becky's response was, again, in the Ariel Hawani interview on the MMA Hour. Look, I saw that tweet, the one you're referring to, the one I'm referring to. I wrote out a response that would have been quite biting. And I deleted it and let it go because I think it's really sad. This, a legend at one point. This legend, a 16-time world champion, Ric Flair, is now jealous of me. That's cool. It's cool for me. And now he's trying to use me to get clout, to promote whatever he has going on next, because he's dug himself into a bit of a hole with other things. Oh. Uh, yeah. How much of that is working? I don't know whether they asked Rick to play or not, even if this is a work, because that seemed like that she didn't take that uh, particularly kindly. Um, Maybe Rick just thought he would pop in and add to the situation and and becky didn't know it was coming i don't know what's going on with these people apparently in response to becky's comments rick flair or a representative controlling his twitter account retweeted those comments as well as an article about rick flair officially selling the man the trademark of the man to wwe which that's right he did it what like two years ago uh, maybe a year ago. I'm not sure how long ago it was. It's been, it's been a little while. We talked about it here on the show when it was happening. But Ric Flair quote tweeted both of those images and said, So disappointed. I did this out of respect for you, Becky Lynch. It made you millions and made me nothing. After 40 years of being the man, the company doesn't own it, and neither do you. I'll always be the man. Ask your husband. Oh! And by the way, for the record... You did sell the man, so you technically are not the man. (laughs) And you didn't do it out of respect. You did it out of need for money, I believe. Was there ever a sale price on the man report? What's the sticker price on the man? Or was that he didn't give it up? He was trying to battle them for it. It wasn't like I did this out of respect for you. It was like, no, I made sure I got every penny I could out of them, and then I said, okay. Well, but did we ever get a figure on the sale price of the man? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. That it would be interesting to find it because if she'd made millions. I wonder, you know, how much did it cost originally? Uh, ah, 